the very best of Swarovski jewelry, from chic everyday pieces to all out glam. Okay, y'all, don't laugh, but up until a couple months ago, I didn't know that Swarovski had a jewelry line. Oh my God, I have gone a little bit cray on the Swarovski, but that's okay. And today I wanna share with you some of my personal favorite pieces. These are pieces that I personally love and own myself, and the style really runs the gamut. Everything from very easy, wearable, chic everyday pieces, all the way up to, okay, I wanna bring it tonight glam. Oh, and best of all, aside from, yes, the beautiful sparkling brilliance that we've all grown to know and love about Swarovski, these pieces are very affordable. Okay, let's get started with the show. First is the ring category. These are what I call stackable rings. They're all sold separately, but I bought them together because I like to play and be a little creative with my jewelry. This one is just a simple infinity tennis ring. It's nice and thin. I wear this every day. I will usually wear like my wedding ring on this hand. And then you've probably seen me with this in several videos. I just put this on my second hand just to give a little extra something so it doesn't look so bare. I bought two of these so that I can play with it. So let me show you the other piece. I also bought this simple ring. It's a little bit larger with pear-shaped crystals each facing in opposing directions. This is beautiful on its own or if you want to stack it, since I bought two of these skinny ones, I sandwich them. One, two, three. So now you've got an entirely different look. I would wear this if I'm going out and wear it on my right hand, just if I want a little something extra and something a little bit more sparkly. But again, you can mix and match these, wear them on their own, all together, however you like it. They're stackable. They're not expensive, you guys. The little infinity ring, I think is between 75 to 88 bucks, depending on what size um, ring you wear. And the larger one, I call it the main stackable, is like $127. For the beauty, the brilliance, it, I mean, it's well worth it. Okay, so here's another ring that I love, and I also use this as a stackable. If you're someone who likes a little bit more color, this is green and crystal. They are centrillion cut, which are triangles, and they are opposite facing, just to give it a really pretty pattern motif. Wear this on its own, any finger that you like, or you can also stack them, again, with the stackables. These two little skinny infinity rings are really um, versatile. So you do one, two, you could leave it like that, or you can add the third one and now you've got an entirely different look. You can see how they catch the light. I'm big on like sparkle and it has to look good. It has to look high quality. Otherwise, I'm not wearing it and I am not bringing it to you. I love these. I own them myself and I wanted to share with you. Super pretty. And last in the ring department before we get to um, my statement piece is this twist wrap ring. It's got four different bands straight on the two outer ones and then the center ones twist over each other. You can see how brilliant and sparkly it is. You can wear this on its own or you know even sometimes if I don't want to wear like my main wedding ring I might even wear this. Wear it on any finger that you like. I tend to like it on my middle finger but it's your ring, your jewelry, and your call. Under $200 I think it's $195. Really pretty. Last but not least in the ring section is the big statement piece. Don't laugh, I love it. This is a big ass Humongo emerald cut crystal ring. Now you guys, this isn't meant to try and pass it off as though it's real. This is just for fun. Sometimes when you're going out and you really just kind of want to bring it and be all extra about something, this is the ring to do it. If I'm meeting friends out for cocktails or maybe Oliver and I are going to dinner someplace and wanting to add a little more element of glam. If you kind of think, ooh, that looks pretty, but I'm not sure, you guys listen. The entire Swarovski collection that I'm showing you today is all on Amazon. If you're thinking, oh, it's on Amazon, it's not going to be nice. Many, 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 many high-end and mid-level designers sell through Amazon. This is simply Swarovski and the Swarovski store. I will put a link for the storefront so that you can see the entire Swarovski collection. I like to choose Amazon, you guys, because when I recommend something to you, I want you to be able to return it easily with no hassles if you don't like it. That's really important to me and Amazon is amazing for that.
Okay guys, this week's shout outs. Every Tuesday and Friday, not only do we have brand new videos, but I also give a shout out to brand new subscribers and current subscribers. It's my way of saying thank you and I appreciate that you are here. For today, Friday's two shout outs, I'd like to give a special welcome to Christine Lightgib. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. And my girl, Kim Hutton. Welcome, welcome ladies and thank you for being a part of the community. I love having you here. Okay, okay. next earrings. All right. I'm going to show you the earrings that I wore to my parents' house. My mom's like, I really love those earrings. I know she thought I got a brand new pair of like diamond earrings. And I'm like, uh, Swarovski and I will send you a pair. You're welcome. How beautiful are these? These are exactly what they look like. Round crystal drop earrings. They're very light. So it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like it's weighing my ear down. You can see how brilliant and shimmery they are. They're just beautiful. They're elegant. Every day or going out, it doesn't matter. These are wonderful one of my absolute favorite pieces. Side note, can I tell you people think they are real? <laughs> They're that beautiful. And you know what I've said, like the key to getting away with a few, it's not really real every once in a while, is kind of dressing the part. So if you're pretty upscale on the rest of what you're wearing and you throw in one of these now and then, nobody knows the difference. In the same vein, but just a little bit fancier are these uh, Kinsella drop crystal earrings with a little more to it. So you can see on the post part of it, there is the pave setting, also has a pave halo around the crystal. Equally beautiful, it just depends on your personal preference. Maybe you like something like this for day, maybe you like something like that that's a little has a little more to it for evening. Okay, I had to fit these in. Next are these pave coupe diamond earrings. And I, I love these too. I hate to say I love everything, but the reason that I'm bringing them to you is because I bought them myself, which means I love them. So these are just as you can see, pave and crystal diamond, well, crystal hoops. The crystal goes all the way around the back, which I really like and appreciate. And I, honestly, I wouldn't buy anything else because when you have your hair up or back, you can see diamonds from the back as well as the front. For a hundred bucks, why wouldn't you do that? I like them because they're not too fussy and it's not too, ooh, it's a big deal that I've got diamond hoops on. In my opinion, it just looks classy clean, chic. It's not overdone. It's just enough to give a little wink of glam without being too in your face. Really love these. Petey. If you're more into rose gold, and I love rose gold equally as well, I do really love these two circle drop pave encrusted earrings. Now these are definitely a little more for the evening in my opinion, but they're equally beautiful. Whether it's for yourself or a mom or a sister, any of these would be a great little something that honestly most any woman would love to receive. Okay, and now the two statement piece earrings. So these here are just very large yellow crystal earrings. Now I think they're supposed to simulate either a yellow canary diamond or a citrine. A citrine is a little bit richer of a color. Uh, let me show you my real citrines. Okay, these are real citrine earrings. These are from my own jewelry box. So I wanna show you the difference. You can see there's just a little variation in color. These have a little bit of a darker, more amber tone. Silver metal around the outside of it. Fun for evening, little studs. They are not heavy, they're actually very light. And as with all the Swarovski, you can see the gorgeous way they catch the light. Brilliant, gorgeous, exquisitely cut, and fun, because we like to have fun, don't we? And the last statement piece earring, these are pink crystals on the inside, surrounded by beautiful green, lustrous metal. Okay, so I'll tell you why I got these. I own that uh, Bottega Veneta Jody bag in that chlorophyll green color. I know you've seen these before. So we were going out to dinner. I was wearing the bag with the shoes and an all black ensemble, and I didn't know what earrings to wear. And I thought, I need a green earring just to pull everything together. I thought these were really fun. They're a way to completely judge up any kind of boring outfit, otherwise boring outfit that you may have. These are a fun piece to at least consider. First, this dancing crystal pendant. Now, why do they call it dancing? You see the center yellow crystal. It isn't static. It's suspended in the middle. So when you move, it jiggles and dances and moves and catches the light brilliantly. Surrounded with little white crystals just to give it a little something extra. Next is this tennis necklace that I've been wearing the whole time. The front facing part of the necklace is all done in what they call a tennis style, which are diamonds back to back. Then 
then, here, let me do this. You have crystals in five different cuts. Round, oval, emerald, centrillion cut, which again is a triangle, and a princess cut. I love this. I mean, isn't this pretty? Because it's a Swarovski, it's catching the light. It looks real. A lot of this stuff I have in my own jewelry box that are authentic diamonds. And I'm telling you, this looks real and it looks gorgeous. Under $200, $190. Okay, you guys, and the next one I do not own. I want to be clear about that. I do not own the next one, but I wanted to include it because a lot of people love a pendant. I already have a million different pendants, so that's why I didn't buy it. This is a basic, simple diamond pendant. It's a princess cut. It looks to be about the equivalent of a carrot about, I would say. So if you don't yet have one, this is a great little piece to have. Simple, easy to wear every day. Classic, classic. You can never go wrong with a simple diamond pendant. Oh, and it's like $61. Let me go get it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Like I said, this may not be your taste, but I love it because I love like an all extra statement piece to have in my jewelry closet. These are various shaped crystals. It looks to me almost like an ombre effect. So a combo of different colors, crystal, the yellow, smoky brown. I love this, I think it's really pretty. Even if you think I'm never gonna wear that, think of the holidays. Don't you usually want to reach for something kind of sparkly and cool around the holidays? And then you're like, I don't really have any Thing to wear. This is something to consider. The reason that I tend to love a lot of sparkly earrings or statement pieces is because I tend to dress fairly simplistically. I don't do a lot of prints. I don't do a lot of wild, crazy colors. So because I dress very streamlined and very simple, I like to add that extra level of elevation with my jewelry. Okay, y'all. So those are my absolute favorite Swarovski crystal pieces, but I want to know what you think. Will you please comment below and let me know what was your favorite piece or if you have a content suggestion on anything style, beauty, or wellness, I would love to hear it. Comment below. And until next time, I will see y'all in a couple days. Bye.